Hey, good morning, Steve with What's Up Dog. Let me help you unleash your inner dog. That's our tagline. That's what we want to do. That's my goal. That's what that's my whole training center and training system is about. I want to unleash your inner dog. I want to unleash your dog's inner dog as well. One of the ways that we do that is we start with feeding. Um, there are uh, uh, some basic principles in feeding that we need to uh, adhere to and that we need to, to really work on. I do know people who free feed who have amazing dogs. However, I don't believe in doing it. Uh, I believe that we should offer food to a dog and then remove the food after 15 to 20 minutes. But what we need to do even more than that, set up our regimen for feeding. Um, it's not just about leaving it down for 15 minutes, but it's about presenting the food to your dog, letting the dog know that you've provided the food by having the dog sit. Simple act of obedience. There's nothing big to that. Have the dog sit, and then you, you just have the dog sit, and you set the bowl down. As you're motioning to the ground with the bowl, the dog is staying seated. If the dog gets up, you simply lift the bowl up. Tell the dog to sit. The dog sits. You move the bowl towards the ground. As soon as you can get the bowl to the ground with the dog in a seated position, release the dog. Okay, go eat. Dog's happy to go eat. It wants the, the good smelling food that you just made for it. For a couple of days, add a little something different to the food maybe that, that entices the dog to want to listen. What's going to happen is you're going to tap into the dog's primal brain. Dogs are opportunistic feeders. If we just simply put food down and say, hey, come get your food. They haven't worked for it. They haven't earned it. They haven't done anything. Sure, being nice, lovely, uh, even uh, uh, being a, a rescue dog, and we feel sorry for it because somebody abused it and starved it and all these things. Um, uh, it sounds like good reasons to simply put out food and lavish food on the dog uh, and, and let it have it. However, we're mixing up communication with them. Clear the communication up. Uh, uh, ask the dog to, to do a simple act of obedience to earn its food and you're going to change your relationship, give it three days, and I can guarantee you your dog will have better focus on you. The dog's going to think highly of you because you've asked it to earn its food. You're tapping into its primal brain. A dog has a, uh, a very simple brain. Part is domestic, part is wild. We tweak and we adjust little screws in there as we, as we do different things, and we teach it how to live in our world and, and, and in our homes and, uh, and to be our companions and our buddies. However, uh, we have to tap into some of the primal things to get the relationship where it's supposed to be. It's simple communication. Come see us on the web, bestobedience.com. Let me help you unleash your inner dog. Stop by our training center at 180 Lynn Drive in Santa Rosa Beach, Florida. We have a retail store, have amazing food, great supplies, uh, everything you need there. Our full training center is there. We also offer boarding and uh, uh, boarding trains. Come see us. Talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.